Hi, this is an am I an emo test? Now, a few people have told me over the years that I look and act pretty emo. Hold on. <laughs> Gamers, we gotta totally get these other things going. We gotta <clears throat> boost up. Okay, so how many close friends do I have? I think this is a very unfair question as I am a very, uh, one. Um, what can you be relied upon to do at parties? Question number two. Well, right off the bat, I'm gonna say I will get right into the middle of it and do a keg stand and drink the whole thing. I think I'm gonna play, you know, some beer pong, dance a little bit. That sounds very, you know, very nice. Are you a latchkey kid growing up? What does that mean? Again, an unfair question, you know, it's just not really like latchkey kid in the building. Hey, that's me. Okay, pick a band. Pick a band. I like this question. I'm not gonna know any of them because emo is not in my name. Oh my god, I love that guy. The Ramones? Ooh. The love language that I was asking about. <laughs> well, as someone who's a fan of the Ramones, I'm gonna have to go with the Ramones. Holes. I have been asked about this very, very recently. Um, so far, there's not a lot <laughs> being misunderstood. Um, <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, thinking about how screwed up the world is, when I open the seal on a crucial ingredient and it's gone bad? Oh, I hate that. Anybody else hate that? Mm. When you just get ready to make some pasta and like the packet somehow is like conglomerated that's what really you know just gets me so freaking mad next question and a very important one how do you spend the majority of your spare time we got options here the first one drawing in my sketchbook where where do i draw where is my sketchbook um, <laughs> chilling in between participating in protests. I've never been to a protest, but one time when I got on a plane, I met two very advocate protesters. And at the time, I was reading a book that was against what they thought was okay. It just starts the best conversations. It just does. It just does. Two hour waiting time? Nope. Nope, now it's acting like a 30 minute wait time. The plane has already departed and we are there because of this very argumentative conversation about this idea that I don't even know much about, but they are very adamant about, you know, and I have to act like I know exactly what I'm reading. And I have to, in fact, try to tell them like, hey, you know, I, uh, I'm not really for this book. I'm just reading about it. I'm probably chilling in between the freaking protesters. I like this history lesson too. The emo term is a subculture that emerged in the mid 1980s. And then we have like a huge history about like in the 1990s, by the early 2000s, like eh, that's very click. Pick a lead singer. Ooh, Gerard Wade, come on. Diana Ross is a good one. Baby, 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 when you kiss me like this, when you kiss me like this, hmm. Haley Williams, Haley Williams. Oh, <gasps> Paramore. Okay, there is nothing on the synthesizer. I feel like I'm getting trolled. I even put in singer, the synthesizer singer, and there's still... No. So yeah, we're gonna go with the uh, rock legend Haley Williams. Okay, pick a maestro, Kanye West. There's no way I'm picking Kanye West. <laughs> I don't know any of these other names. S Sylvia Plath sounds like vaguely familiar. Sylvia Plath was an American poet, novelist, and short story writer. Um, shout out, shout out, Sylvia Plath. You know, go check her out if you're really into poetry. But I'm going to go with uh, Kanye West. Yep. 
and big continue. Uh, what clothing items are in your closet sweater vests? Um, I prefer being naked. I'm gonna go with I prefer being naked. <laughs> just just because it's funny. Oh, I'm also uh, keeping that as a genuine answer. I prefer to be naked, apparently. Um, no takesy backsies. No takesy backsies. What do you ask the hair salon to do for you? An undercut, ombre fade, or a mohawk? I shave my head at home. I've never been felt so close to home with that answer. What are your preferred color palette? Um, we have colors like red, purple, blue, green, black as a black hole, ice cream pastels, or white. I have to go with black. It's just, it's in my nature. Even though right now I am wearing a white Gengar shirt. I would not wear it because this was supposed to be my workout shirt. This was supposed to be worn outside in 100 degree heat and black attracts the sun and I'm very like, you know, not wanting to get a heat stroke. Do you need therapy? I disagree. I disagree. I feel called out and I, I disagree. Take it back. Which of these movie characters did you relate to? Wednesday Adams from the Adams Family. You guys know. You guys know. What did your high school teachers often say to you? Wake up! Wake up! What makes you happy? Hmm. Very, very oily hair. Okay, that does make me very happy, surprisingly. It's just, it brightens my day every time. Hey, <laughs> how introverted would you say you are? I don't think I'm at the point of seeking the company of robots. Um, but let's see. Um, I have days when I need to recharge and days I want to party. Yeah, that's me. You're whatever the opposite of emo is. You're chipper to a vault and don't care what people think about your basic preferences. You like what you like, and you'll make no apologies. Cue the Britney bangers. All right, let's go. <laughs> Ooh, hey. Okay, well, that is the Am I an Emo test. Thanks for uh, watching, and if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button, and uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I gotta be out of here. All non-emote and stuff. Gotta figure out what emo means. Alright, see ya.